how do we address any emotion without going into a facade? Hmm. Well, we need to understand the emotions that drive the need for a facade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if you examine the emotions that drive a need for a facade, you will find that it's all about pleasing other people, making other people feel that they like you or that they agree or that, you know, making other people feel that they agree with you, that you're right or, or some other such emotions. So they're all about what you want from other people. Facade is driven by what you want from other people in return. So to avoid emotions, to, to get into emotions without going into facade, you've got to give up the things you want from other people yeah. and you've got to give them up emotionally. So you'll need to go through the emotions of all the things, the addictions that you have, of all the things that you want from other people. And once you give up those things, you'll find you won't revert to a facade at all. You will always be true to yourself under all circumstances. You won't revert to falsifying your own demeanour or appearance or, or emotions in order to please somebody. But to do that, you have to go through the emotions that cause you to want to please somebody. Yeah. You have to be willing to go through those. And usually there's a lot of fear associated with those emotions. We're afraid of disapproval. We're afraid of humili being humiliated, being condescended to. We're afraid that people would see, see us as an idiot or stupid or, or that we're afraid that they'll judge us as unloving or unkind. Or uh, And there's just so many that we could list. So it requires, again, a large deal of honesty on the part of the person who's going into a facade to find the reason why they want to. My suggestion to people is if you know or other people have show, told you that you're often in facade, my suggestion is look at all the reasons why you want the facade. What, why are you addicted to the facade? Why do you want to engage the facade? Why do you want to portray yourself to be something that you're not? Deep down, there'll be emotions that you feel like the real you is not good enough mm. for other people. Mm -hmm. But on top of that, there'll be fears of what might other people might do to you if they think you're different to them. And on top of that, there will be a whole heap of addictions that you continually engage, of which facade is one of them, in order to, to make yourself appear to be different than you really are. Yeah. While you engage a facade, you are harming yourself because you're not honouring who you really are, the person that God created, but you're also harming every single relationship because every single person thinks they're getting someone that's not the real you. Mm -hmm. It's not the real you. It's somebody completely different. Well, they think they're getting you and they're not getting the real they're you. They're not getting the real you. Yeah. They're getting someone completely different. And, and, and so they think they're having a relationship with the real you, mm -hmm. but they're actually having a relationship with a person who doesn't exist. Yeah. And sooner or later when you get out of your side and, and into you know, your real self, they might realise that. And, and they might find that they don't want to have a relationship with you either because mm. you've been falsifying your true self for such a long time that they might go through lots of anger and rage about the fact that you've done that. Yeah. And they might feel that they can no longer trust you and they might have other emotions as well. So a facade can be not only very damaging to yourself and to your own soul, but it also can be very damaging to your relationships. Mm. You need to work through the reasons why you're in a facade, get out of the facade, be your true self, and then you'll attract people who are truly, who will enjoy your true self. Mm -hmm. And also you'll feel much more comfortable with yourself. Yeah. So I feel it's about going through the emotions that cause the facade first, yeah. rather than trying to get into emotions underneath that. So a person who goes through the emotions that cause the facade, finish up gets, getting out of the facade, and then when they get into the deeper emotions, they don't revert to the facade sure. every time they feel an emotion. Yeah. 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 No, oh, that's helpful. Yeah. Mm -hmm.